In this video, I'm going to upgrade the coal gasoline power plant built from last week into leaded coal gasoline. If you haven't watched last week's video, I highly recommend you do it. As the build is exactly the same, the layout will be the same, only we are going to use the byproducts from that build in order to upgrade the coal gasoline to leaded coal gasoline. Also, a very big thanks to Tanks for his $100 super thanks. I highly appreciate you supporting me like this. So anyways, without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. Let's start by comparing coal gasoline with leaded coal gasoline. So coal gasoline provides 9.52 million HG per bucket when combusted in an industrial combustion engine. On the other hand, leaded coal gasoline provides a nice power boost by providing 14.2 million HG per bucket. Now in order to produce leaded coal gasoline, we need to combine coal gasoline with tetraethyl lead antinoc agent. Now this antinoc agent is made by combining four components, petroleum gas, steam, oil tar or any other variant of tar and lead powder. All of these things are actually available in our build. So steam can always be produced in a boiler. Now the sour gas that we are solidifying right now can be reformed in a catalytic reformer to obtain petroleum gas. We are already producing heavy metal bedrock ore which can be further processed in order to obtain lead powder. And ore slop can be solidified to get tar sand which will give us bitumen which will give us the oil tar. So pretty simple process. Let's start with ore slop first. So the solidification machine which I was using for sour gas will now take in ore slop and it will solidify the ore slop in order to give us tar sand. So extending some fluid ducts like this and connecting the pipes for ore slop first. So with the entire line set to ore slop, we also need to set the solidification machine here. And once that's done, we can move forward by placing down a liquefaction machine. Now this liquefaction machine will take in the tar sand and liquefy it into bitumen. So that's the liquefactor machine with its upgrade set, speed and power saving. This is going to be common for most of the machine. And finally bitumen can be solidified in order to give us oil tar. So here goes the bitumen here in the solidification machine with all of the fluid identifiers in place. The machine is set and ready to go. So with this three machine set, we are producing oil tar. Now the next machine will be the catalytic reformer in order to process sour gas. Now the catalytic reformer will also need the catalytic converter like the hydro treater did and set it to sour gas, which will give us sulfuric acid, petroleum gas and liquid hydrogen. So for the input, I am going with the back side like this, set it to sour gas here and two of the outputs which are uh, sulfuric acid and hy liquid hydrogen can just be vented out. Now I'm going to set an electric heater with a boiler on top in order to produce steam and we don't really need a lot of steam in this build so I'm going to place a switch here later on but for now I'm just going to supply it with power, place down a water barrel and use it to fill up the boiler with water and that should start producing steam. So that's three of the products done that we need here and also the three machines will need power so i am going to connect some like this and with the way that this is made we can have the final item duct in order to get our lead powder come like this pretty neat and place down the first centrifuge so this centrifuge will take in the heavy metal bedrock ore and it will give us the primary fraction along with gravel which we can just vent out or basically just shred using the inserter. Placing down the second centrifuge which will take the primary fraction and convert it to tungsten bedrock ore and lead bedrock ore. Out of which we are only going to use the lead one. The tungsten bedrock ore can once again be sent into an inserter which is set to a shredder mode. What I did in the previous video. Now in order to get the lead powder I'm going to set the bedrock fragments here, the lead bedrock fragments and get powder from it using the cyclic assembler. So the sides will be set to the back side, is set to input, left side is set to output, connecting item pipes here and make sure to whitelist lead so that tungsten doesn't end up in here. Finally, in order to power the cyclic assembler, we need an HE2RF converter here and that should actually do the trick. Next up, we 
produce the tetraethylid antinoc agent. So first goes in the petroleum gas pipe, which is one of the things needed. Also place down the chemistry template here. Next up, we need to input oil tar and along with that lead powder. So connecting item pipes going into an inserter because inserter does count like a crate and also a bonus it will get rid of excess items for you and finally we connect the steam pipe here so with that all four of the outputs sorry four of the inputs should be set and we will produce tetraethyl lead antinoc agent in order to supply this with power i'm going to connect some cables like this and that's our first chemical plant set it will give us the antinoc agent and also the catalytic reformer will get power this way now we drain out the sulfuric acid and liquid hydrogen that the catalytic reformer is going to produce i am going to dump them in a single pit and with that we will not clog our system now as i said before the boiler will keep on running so we need to basically separate it out from the grid using a switch i'm using a redstone switch here so that we can only use the boiler when we need it this system is not going to use that much steam now the tetraethyl lead the output can go into the input of a second chemical plant and this one will take in tetraethyl lead antinoc agent along with coal gasoline from the hydro treater and combine these two in order to give us the leaded coal gasoline so connecting the coal gasoline pipes going like this and with that connection done it will receive coal gasoline also power can come in in a neat manner like this so connecting cable here should give it power so coal gasoline with tetraethyl lead will give us leaded coal gasoline which we will store in a tank which can be set at an equal distance here so leaded coal gasoline and one pipe goes in the front and now on the back side of this tank we can start setting up some industrial combustion engines you can set however many you like depending on how much space you have i'm going to go with three and make sure to use the high speed steel piston as they have 100 percent efficiency for medium fuel type which is what leaded coal gasoline is and the outputs of this are gonna go in a sherbidium energy storage block and make sure to get exhaust out as leaded coal gasoline will also spread heavy metal as pollution which is pretty dangerous so let's start and test this system here we start processing the bedrock ores coal will go and form coal gasoline but on the other hand heavy metals will start coming in we will start guessing the lead powder and along with that bitumen which will give us the oil tar and these two things will actually start clogging up but uh, as this is in shredder mode uh, it will also get rid of it anyways sour gas will be produced into petroleum gas 100 petroleum gas will give us when combined tetraethyl lead antinoc agent and as soon as this hits 10,000, we are gonna get leaded coal gasoline so this process is a bit time consuming but definitely worth it so there goes every 10,000 millibuckets of coal gasoline will give us 12,000 millibuckets of leaded coal gasoline now i'm going to fast forward this entire process here because like last video processing these bedrock ores uh, a stack of bedrock ore it takes approximately eight minutes so let's see how much leaded coal gasoline we end up with and then we can also check how much power we consumed in the whole process because we started out with 25 gigaj exactly that's why i filled up the energy storage bar all right so with the process done we can see that the inserter is full of tungsten here and we also have a lot of oil tar lead powder anyways there's a leftover coal gasoline here like we were a little bit short and we ended up with 60,000 millibuckets of leaded coal gasoline and we consumed roughly 206 million HE in order to get this now we can fill up the industrial 
combustion engines and start them up to see how much power we are going to get out of this whole thing. So as I said before, we ended up with leftover coal gasoline because it only processes if there is 10,000 uh, millibuckets of coal gasoline in there. So yeah. Anyways, once again, the video has been speeded up and yeah, there is no heavy metal pollution in here, surprisingly. So that's pretty good. And with the process done completely, we ended up with uh, roughly 852 million HG, which is a good number. If we had a little more coal gasoline, then we could have gotten 12,000 uh, millibuckets more leaded coal gasoline, which would have given us even more power. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, you found it useful. If you did, do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out. Stay safe.